is T Monster here and today we're gonna to be making another building video guys and um so this is the foundation so this is gonna be 15 blocks by 15 blocks so it's a square shape including the whole build it's like including the front part over here which we will be adding and what I'm going to do is I'm going to now start laying out the foundation of this build so we want to take out another brick block go to the left hand side count this block as one and then go so one two three four five and on the fifth block we go right by one then place one behind that then take it all the way back until you reach the end of your grid if you made it so um i recommend you build this in it'll be very helpful if you are building a town remove this block here then cut this block as one right of it by two so that's one two three four five six and on the seventh block you're gonna place another brick block go back by that by one then leave a gap place two more like this then continue until you reach the end of the grid then go back until you reach the end of your grid like this and then simply connect the back together if you want something like this once you've done that I'd like you to come to this section here and then so find this block and place the iron block here and here you now the iron block would be a doorway or a walkway and then the nether bricks is a wall once you've done that from this block go back by two actually make that a three then you can connect it like this so that's our first room place a block here and here two iron blocks in the middle another brick block you're going to want to place that uh, here 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 all the way up till here you want to make sure there's actually a gap of two in the middle like that so then we'll have a stairs over here once you've done that, what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to take out some white concrete and I'm going to raise this block here on the right up by 5 so that's 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 then the one next to it by 5 leave a gap of 2 that's where we'll have a window then raise the block next to that up by 5 this up by five so what you want to do is you want to raise every single nether brick up by five blocks okay then guys so you want every single nether brick block raised up with the white concrete by five so after you've done that we're now gonna work on the garage floor so the first thing i want you to do is just come to this area here these two blocks take our iron block and then fill those two in now we'll also fill the garage floor in so that's just going to be one block lower than everything else so i'm going to be using world edit here so So you want to fill the whole area in with a grey block of your choice or anything you want as long as it's suitable. There we go. Once you've done that, I want you to now take out some stone brick 
and you're going to want to fill in this whole entire area at this front over here not exactly the whole but I'll show you There we go. So guys, you want to fill this whole entire front part in with stone brick. Once you've done that, take out some glass panes. And then come to this area, place two here. Just wanted to two here. say Happy New Year. Yeah, it's two. It's, this is it's my first January video in 2021, 1st. guys. January 1st in the UK. Okay. She's mentioned where I live. Okay, guys, so happy new year. Just sing this. Happy new year. Yeah. Okay, uh, so once you've done this takeout, let's do some smooth quartz stairs. I think that'll look nice over here. And then also take your white concrete out. So you want to have three layers of grass. Smooth quartz stair there. Do the same here. Then white concrete above it. Now there will be a gap here again guys. But um, this is Minecraft so it's not such a big deal. Unless if you wanted you could fill this back area up with some glass blocks however that would take up space so I'm just doing glass panes so take out your white concrete again and this top area here you want to fill it in only the top row like this this will be a garage door what you want to do next is this I want you to take out some block of quartz And you're gonna want to fill in every single area so all the floors in like like this so it's gonna be literally everywhere apart from the garage once you've done that, take out, let's do an acacia door. It's going to match the theme of this build. You want to place one here and one over here. We're not placing any over here. This will be a kitchen, so count of one, two, and on the third block, an upside down quartz stair. And above that you want to place two rows of white concrete and above this door what we're going to do is we're going to have one upside down quartz stair and then a two rows of white concrete then take out your smooth quartz stairs place two over here then place two behind Two like this and I want you to repeat this until you reach the top so that will be about here once you've done that what we're going to do is I'm going to now take out some glass blocks and I'm gonna place one over here then above that one upside down quartz stair there we go then above that a white concrete block so I hope this looks nice 
Once you've done that, I want you to take out some sandstone. So I want you to take out a cut sandstone slab. We won't be needing any more glass blocks. And cut sandstone. And what I want you to do is place a cut sandstone block here. Then slab in front of that. Then block over here and what I'd like you to do is and let's just see if this looks nice okay not exactly it's gonna take out dirt replace that so um this is the best over here what you could do is take out your nether brick block place one over there Take out white concrete, raise this area up, and go across. And then place one here, and connect that, like that. Once you've done that, what I'd like you to do is replace all of this with dirt. Or you could just place it above this and then it turns into and then this will grow into grass. I want you to take out let's do some oak leaves. And then I'm gonna want you just place some like this just to give it some more depth. So you want something like this. Once you've done that, take out, actually let's do this, so I want you to now take out some andesite, polished one, and then go to this section over here, you're going to want to fill the entire top area up. like this so two rows then on the third row go all the way until you hit the stairs so you just want to fill the top area up but avoid the stairs so that's basically what you want to do here what you could also do is let's see if we can place some white concrete here so luckily it's still possible to go up and down. What we'll do is you want to enter this area here or the garage. Take out your white concrete. Place one there, one there, one there and one over there. Then fill the area in between those up. Then you could make this place look better if you want. So I'm gonna take out some quartz stairs. Place one over here, here, and here, and here. Once you've done that, what you're gonna want to do is this. So you are going to want to do this, I want you to take out maybe some grey carpet or any colour of your choice and you're going to want to place on this row here, one row of carpet, then we're going to take out some black wool. and some glass panes place black wool here and here and fill the space in between that up with glass pane here and here as well then place one white concrete behind these two you can also raise the other ones for this area only up by one more So you want this 
and then what I want you to do is take out your block of quartz, place one here, glass pane in the middle, leave a gap of two, one here, glass pane here, raise this up by two, this also up by two, then connect in the middle. We'll also surround this using glass panes like this guys so you want something like this you can also place a row of white concrete behind this take out some black carpet place one above every single glass pane over here Once you've done that, take out your white concrete block, place one row here, so behind that, here, here and here. What you want to do next is take out some smooth quartz stairs, or actually place a white concrete here, then smooth quartz stairs. Okay guys, this is... Okay, kind of messed up there. They fixed it. So smooth cord still there, and then two glass panes on top. You could also put an upside down quad stair above the window, just to give it some decoration, or it's just to or just if you just want to do that once you've done that come over here so these two blocks place two normal quartz stairs take out your block of quartz break out these two and actually do the rest until you reach there and what you want to do is want to also place one here you're going to want to fill the entire of the top section or actually before that you want to go around this with white concrete and then you want to fill the entire top section using your block of quartz so you want to have something like this once you've done that now we'll focus on the back of the house so when you see this area I want you to knock out one and two blocks here knock out this block place it with some quartz actually not quartz let's do iron then a quartz stair there there and also here now this will be longer than 15 blocks so um so if you might have a few blocks of space then you might have to change that once you've done that okay i'm just gonna see if this was upside down or okay so that's upside down and we'll be needing glass blocks again i thought we wouldn't be needing it but turns so out we actually need it again so you want to take that out place one here and again, the door we've only been using so far is the acacia door. Just place that there. Move the block above that and place it with the upside down court stair. So we're gonna go back inside and go to this area here. Count one over here, then on the second block, break out two. Keep removing these until you've got three rows in total. However, this time, since this will be a kitchen window, take out white concrete, place two over there, then glass panes, two over there, two over here. So it should look like that. What you could also do is, you can have two upside down quad stairs underneath this.
and do the same over here. We won't be having any windows over here since this is a garage. So once you've done that, we're gonna do we're now gonna make the upstairs part. So take out some white concrete. Then from the side over here, count in one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, break out one block. Keep going until you hit the edge. Replace all of that with white concrete. Also do this block here. And then this block here and you can raise this up by 5. Then remove these three blocks. And you're going to want to replace them with white concrete and raise that up by 5. That's 4 actually guys so... Okay, so that wasn't five, so I'm just gonna raise all of these up one more time. So you want five blocks in total. Also, this section in the middle is meant to be five blocks tall. Take out a door. Or actually, before that, remove these two blocks. Take out an iron block. Place one here and one here, then place your doors in. Then you want to place upside down smooth quad stairs of these two. Actually, instead of an acacia door. Okay, wait. Okay, why would. So you want to take out a dark oak door. You won't be using any more acacia doors, I hope. Take out your white concrete, place two over here. Then over here we are gonna play we're gonna actually have another window. So place an upside down quartz chair over there. Take out your glass panes. You want to place two above that. Upside down quartz chair above those white concrete there fill this side in this here and also this over here and after that so it's three blocks apart from the previous window two upside down quad stairs and then you can fill the rest of the area in with white concrete Can you have this? so Take out your glass pane, place two over here, so two rows, then after that, it's going to be an upside down quartz stair, actually two of those since it's two blocks wide, then white concrete over those, you want to place five over there, leave a gap of two five concrete. And you literally want to connect to this up till here. Then you want to place two upside down quartz stairs. So there's one, two. And then two rows of glass here. Okay guys, so this might not be the most interesting bit, but since this is a back wheel, just do this. And then finally, two concrete blocks. What you could also do is remove the row above of these. And maybe quartz stairs might look good over here, I'll see. Okay, I think it, it kind of is good. It's up to you if you want it or not. Then we'll put one row of white concrete on top of these. Then we've got this corner left, so raise this up by five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Like this. And we're gonna have maybe two windows over here since this is a bedroom. So place two rows of concrete here. Then you want to place 
glass pane here, here, and here. Do the same on the other side, and then finally to upside down court stairs. Then you want to place finally one white concrete above all of that, and then you want to fill in this back wall with white concrete. So um, again guys, I'm going to be using world edit because it's convenient. So if you have it installed, you want to mark that block out, then this one. And we're going to set in, let's do some concrete. There we go. Use world edit and it saves some time. Once you've done that. Take out your glass panes, place three over here, two over here, and actually also place this on these three with white concrete, just so it looks better. Then, once we've done that, we can now, we'll soon plan out what will be in the rooms in one of the next videos. So you can take out your white concrete, you're gonna want to now fill in the roof for every single area in with the white concrete so I'm just gonna world edit that again And you can see that bookshelf building in the background, so uh, yeah, that's an that's an unfinished building, which we are still finishing. I can show you very quickly inside it. It's not really the best building so far, but it's still under construction. You can also see these um, scaffolding blocks. Don't know what this is. Okay, just remove that. So right now, this is what it looks like. So it doesn't really look too nice so far. But we'll be sorting that out shortly. So once you fill the top part in, we can finally make the roof, guys. Finally. So you want to take out some block of quartz and some smooth quartz slab. What I'd like you to do is, you want to place one row on the right side of your build, like this guys, that thing over there is just a barrier, just to stop people from entering, although there's no one but that's what its purpose would be, you want to place a row of block of quartz here, then extend the sides by four, so one, two, three, and four. And then you want to connect these like this. Okay then guys, um, we're almost done. Okay, whatever. Then you want to place a row of cord slabs here. Okay guys, so this is what you should have, and um, maybe we'll be able to give this more character, it kind of looks plain. We'll do that in one of my next videos. So once you've done this, what you're going to do, is we might plan out where there would be a skylight, so what you to do is take out some smooth quartz stairs. We're gonna kind of um, give it an effect. So remove these four blocks. Only those four. Place some upside down quartz stairs there. Remove this block here. Upside down quartz stair there. What I might do is we're going to take out some 
grey concrete I'm gonna want to place a row over here make sure there's a gap from the edge so that we can fit our quad stairs in like this guys then finally you can fit in your quad stairs and this might not look like the best build so far I think I've mentioned that like so many times guys but um this is the last time I'm mentioning that once you've done that you want to take out one two three and four then hopefully this thing has given it some more character actually you don't want to remove the fourth one or actually okay yeah just put one over here and then guys I think this gives this more character yeah this looks a lot better once you've done that let's take out some buttons So, um, we won't be needing doors anymore, I think. And you want to place one, you want to place actually a row of buttons going around the whole perimeter of the build. Okay then guys, so when you reach here, you will not be able to place a button. But we can leave it like that. This looks a lot better than what we had before what you could also do is take out your smooth quartz slab place one there and there maybe this looks kind of better yeah I think it does you could decorate this even more if you want if you want you could also place a button there but I'm just gonna leave it how it is and this is the end of the video guys there'll be a part 2 in which I'm going to be showing you how to build the inside and also the mansion video ATT is going to be making the video on how to make the inside or if not maybe it's just gonna be me okay guys so this is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video which is going to be based on making the interior of this house. So this is going to be bye from me and once again happy new year.